this is the last part where we had left our project we had created a string and passed it in, in our browser through rest api and today what we will do we will create an employee class and fetch the object of that employee class through our resource using xml and json before that let's understand what does xml and json mean so let's get started by getting knowledge about xml and json we'll get brief knowledge about xml and json so what does xml and json stands for xml stands for extensible markup language and json stands for javascript object notation and what does xml and json represent these both are self describing and hierarchical data which is used to describe an object what do you mean by self describing self describing means human readable these can be read by human and they contain hierarchical data in form of values which within the values and after this let's see the representation and how xml is represented and json is represented so xml is represented as this this is the list of employees which contain different employee one employee is sumit second employee is john it contains value that is user id 101 and john contains user id 102 this is a representation in form of xml and let's see how we represent in json the same thing can be represented in json using this syntax it contains employees with name sumit and other employee with john these both are kind of similar representation but in different formats that is in xml format and json format so now let's see what is the similarities in xml and json these both are self describing like i earlier said that can be read by human and they are hierarchical data which contain values within values and these can be passed by lots of programming language and can be fetched with an xml http request this is the important part these both can be fetched with xml http request and so they are more popular in rest apis and what is the difference difference is that json doesn't use any int tag while json is shorter and xml is larger in size also xml is not that much quicker like json which can be read and write in quicker way and json can be represented using an array where we had left our project what i'll do here i'll create first an employee class and fetch the data of the employee using xml or json so i will go to the package and create a class name it as employee i'm not using main method here and i will write certain variables like private string name it as name and private string user id and these two are i think it's sufficient and i will provide getters and setters for these two fields and go to source generate getters and setters for names and user id and click on okay so we are done with our employee class and now what i will do here in the my hello i don't want my path variable as we want only xml files so in the media type we will set as application application xml this is the part application xml and we don't want anything in the function and we only want to return the employee class in form of xml so i will write employee in, i will initialize employee as e is equal to new employee and i will set the variables of employee e dot set name i will set my name as sumit and let's name it keep the user id as integer int and i'll set name user id it and int and here also keep it as int so we have done with employee class and e dot set user id 101 it is 101 only and i will simply return e e is our employee and so i will return employee so i'll place employee in place of string so we have created an employee class 
and where we are provided the variables of the employee and we will return in the XML format and our employee class is this so let's run this code right click on this run as run on server right click on this run as run on server finish so my tomcat is starting so our server has started what i will do i'll simply copy this link and i'll paste it in the url and one more thing i'll paste that is the link to my hello class where we are returning an xml so i'll simply paste it here and when i'll hit enter we got an error let's see what there is a message body writer not found uh, this is because we have not provided any annotation on the employee class so we will provide annotation the annotation which is required to represent in the xml format is xml xml root element so now when i'll let the is reloaded when i'll enter hit enter it is loading class is loading see we have got our employee and we have created as sumit as employee whose user id is this and we have represented in the xml format thank you for watching